sometimes we have certain web applications that use specific resources on the server and it's not possible to debug on local it could be for security reasons license uh, and many uh, other factors so in this video i'm going to show you how to debug remotely your web application on azure in this case i'm using an aspenet mvc application but it could be a blazor application razor and any other type of web application uh, under .NET Core uh, platform. So I have already an ASP.NET MVC under the .NET Core 3.1 version. Uh, I have here the default template for the project, controller uh, view and model. And in, in my home controller, in the index action, I have this list of countries here that's going to be used in, in the index view. So it's just a simple example. I don't want to specify any complex operation here just to demonstrate the debugging process. Let me run on local to show you how the output is and uh, after that we are going to do the same but remotely on Azure. So the application is running right now. So considering I have this home controller with the action index that's going to, to load the index view here so that's it that's working it's showing the list of countries here as i'm looping through the list and to enable the remote debug option on azure you have to go to the configuration of the web app. I have already this remote debug YouTube app service created. It's a web application host, a simple one under the free layer. If you go to the configuration and general settings, there is uh, the main settings for the application, .NET Core, etc. And we have this debugging option here and by default the remote debugging option is turn off if you turn on uh, we have to choose the visual studio version from where we, we want to debug the application on azure so my application is already hosted in the azure web app and in visual studio you have to go to cloud explorer window and under your azure web app if you are already authenticated with your account you have to choose the option attach debugger that means the visual studio will connect to the web app on azure and starting the application but not running uh, locally but in the server in the Chrome, you are setting the Visual Studio to open the application by default. So it's running, it's loading the DLLs here for debugging. Depends on the size of your application, the remote debugging, it's a heavy process. So as you can see here, the application is running, but I, I didn't press the play button the build option so the application already opened in the browser and the debugging option is already working here so i'm gonna press f10 to debug to the next line and every time i debug the azure go the azure 
gives back the response of the application as you can see here it's working as we were debugging locally so it's easy uh, it's powerful so if you have something that works only on the server you can still debugging if your application is hosted on Azure so and don't forget to turn off the remote debugging option after you finish in the process for performance and security reasons thank you for watching if you have any questions please leave your question in the comments below bye